All right, so in a problem like this, what we have is um, it's a multi-step equation with the variable on the same side. And whenever you have parentheses, um, we always need to make sure we follow the order of operations. And when you follow the order of operations, you're thinking of PEMDAS, right? Parentheses is first. But it's very important when we're dealing with parentheses, there's multiple parentheses. We have these brackets, which is considered like a parentheses, the same operation or same grouping symbol or not the same grouping symbol, but it, they group them in the same way that we'd group with parentheses. And then we have these parentheses here. So when we're following the order of operations, we want to make sure that we always simplify inside the innermost parentheses first. So I look to u minus 10. Can I subtract 10 from u? No. no. Then I look directly outside of my parentheses. Well, now I have this 2 times u minus 10. Can I apply something there? Yeah, I can apply it straight to property. So always start with the innermost parentheses and then work our way out, we can apply um, distributive property. So when I do that, I have 2 times 8u plus 2u minus 20 equals 0. Now, again, parentheses. Inside of here, can I simplify inside my parentheses? Yeah, I can combine the 8u and the 2u, right? So I have 2, parentheses, or bracket, 10u minus 20 equals 0. Now, can I do anything inside there? No, but I can apply distributive property again. So therefore, I have um, 20u minus 20 equals 0. Now, I have a two-step equation. Huh? Oh, minus 40, thank you. Now, I have a two-step equation. Solve for my variable u. So add 40, add 40. 20u equals 40. Divide by 20, divide by 20, u equals 2. Make sense? So when you're doing the order of operations, just always work from the innermost parentheses first.